I want to talk a little bit about the nurtured heart approach. This is an approach that kind of jives with this focus on celebrating positive behavior. And it was developed by Howard Glasser. And it's an approach that has three simple principles. And I want those of you that work in schools to think about what, how this would work in a school or those of you working in residentials to think about that as well. The first thought is the real power we have with kids is our energy. It's our energy. It's our focus. The kids want our focus. They've grown up in families where they haven't gotten a lot of attention and a lot of positive feedback. As a matter of fact, a lot of the messages they've gotten from adults are that you're bad, you're, you're messed up, there's something wrong with you. So the power we have is not punishment, but the power we have is to give relationship, to give energy to behavior. But I ask in all the schools and residentials I go in, if we were to count up how many times you make statements to kids, and if you make 100 statements a day, of those 100 statements, what percentage of them are statements about something great the kid is doing, and what percentage of them are statements about something that you're, could you cut it out, could you please behave, could you stop talking, stop touching? And I always ask that, and I get anywhere from 80 to 90% of the comments we make to kids are about something that's wrong with them. And about 10% of the time, we say something about something that they did that's well. And the nurtured heart approach says those are the wrong percentages. We need to really celebrate good behavior. So the first message in the, in the nurtured heart approach is when a child misbehaves, let's give them a consequence, but let's not give them our heart and our energy and our relationship. Let's give the consequence and move on. The second principle is when they behave well, let's get it, give them an animated response. Let's give them energy. Let's give them focus. And the third principle is let's stop messing around with our rules. Rules are rules and give the consequence no big fanfare. You know, I'll tell you really quickly, when I was working in a group home, I ran a group and we had eight kids in the group and they were wild. I had this acting out all over the place and I decided a brilliant idea. I said to them, if, uh, every time you act out, I'm going to put an X next to your name. If you act out again, I'm going to put another X. And then if you act out a third time, I'm going to kick you out. So you guys better behave. I thought I was cracking down. Anybody want to guess at the end of group how many X's were on my sheet? <laughs> well, no. It wasn't, wasn't 24. Eight kids. How many X's? 16. Exactly right. Anybody want to tell me why there were 16 X's on that sheet? Because they knew that they could do two things that required your redirection before actually being kicked out of the group. Absolutely. And one of the things, Nurtured Heart sounds wimpy and soft, but it's very strict. It says, hey, guys, making rules for troubled kids coming from inconsistent environments, make a rule when it's violated, give a consequence. Stop giving warnings. Warnings are just telling kids, here's a free shot to break the rule. And that's what I learned from that. 